this is Chad from Sticks Blog. I'm Stick, and today I want to do another video on yet again um, more cooking items. Uh, more specifically, what I want to talk about is a ring that I just received. But while I'm talking about this, I just kind of want to throw in um, the system that I'm going to be uh, trying it out with and just say a couple of things about it. So, first off, uh, I will say that the ring that I have here is uh, the ring that I just ordered from Smoke Eater 908. Um, I actually ordered it, um, I believe, Saturday night from his website, uh, and today is Thursday and it was in the mail today, so it's pretty quick shipping times. Um, and part of the reason that I ordered this um, is because he's doing a special right now, and uh, I'm not sure what the date is, but if you go to his website, it'll say, and I'll post a link to that at the bottom of the screen there. Um, but anyway, he's running a special to where uh, between now and whenever this special ends, if you buy a ring, he'll give you a lid for free. Um, so I felt like that was a pretty good deal. The ring by itself is $16. I'm not sure if you can buy the lid separate or uh, or how that works. Um, I know he sells a little kit that you can get the ring, the lid, and some wicking. Um, but uh, he threw it in for free. And like I say, it was 16 bucks for the ring and the lid. And uh, shipping cost $1.75, which I thought was excellent. Um, so all together cost me $17.50 um, here's the voucher I don't know how much of that you can see wrote a nice little note thanks Chad for the business cool little fireman's helmet there so I just want to say thanks Smoke Eater 908 for the uh, ring and the lid it looks awesome and I'm really excited to get it in my Foster's pot so um, real quick I just want to show you some of the stuff that I'm going to be, or the setup that I'm going to be using then, and give a few weights and stuff, uh, and then I'm going to do a video to where, uh, or I'm going to continue the video and actually show where I put it in the can. So, um, let me just start off with the system that I'm going to use. Of course, I'm using a Foster's can, and this is just a Foster's can, an empty Foster's can. I'm going to cut it off and uh, do something with it. But this is the Foster's can, the one that I've got cut down. It's cut down and the line will go through the middle of that first bottom leg on the F. Uh, and that's the size that I'm using, the height that I'm using. Um, it'll hold approximately two cups of water as good for the size of can that I'm using um, to boil with. It'll hold more water than that, but uh, considering you want to have a little bit of extra room to allow for the boiling, um, that's about the volume that I'm going to be using in it. Now this is the uh, this is the system that I'm going to be using, and this is a do-it-yourself system. Uh, but I will say again that I got this system from watching Smoke Eater 908, looking at his pictures and stuff, and I got all the ideas uh, for the stuff that's in here from him. So I want to credit all that to him. This is just my do-it-yourself version. Um, so anyway, starting with uh, the system here. Just like on the video I just posted, I made a cozy for it. I have a bottom and a top piece of the cozy, and I've got some weights listed here. Um, the lid, this lid is 0.3 ounces, and, uh, or 8 grams is what I came up with on my scales. And the uh, bottom part, which goes over the container, is 0.4 ounces or 11 grams. So total, this is about 0.7 ounces or around 19 grams is what uh, this cozy weighs. Um, this cozy is obviously good for uh, rehydrating. Uh, if I use this to do my food in, put it in there, rehydrate, but also it's just a little bit something extra to protect everything while it's in my pack packed up. Of course, I will use a Cuban fiber stuff sack. I currently have it on this set right here, which has my Dutch beer can system and everything in it, and I did the last post was the video on that. So anyway, that's the cozy I made for it. And like I said, I just made this out of some... Uh, uh, I went and bought some uh, big roll of Reflectix at Lowe's. I think it was about 15 bucks, and I bought some aluminum tape. The aluminum tape was kind of high. It was about eight, nine bucks for a roll of aluminum tape. Not sure how many feet, but I'll be able to make dozens of cozies. So you can see, I have a lot more already that I've made, and I've still got plenty left over. But anyway, fun little do-it-yourself project, and it's worth it in my opinion. Now next is the container. This is a. a uh, Kool-Aid container. This is a real deal Kool-Aid. If you'll go to Walmart or any other store that sells it, uh, look for the Kool-Aid in the containers. Um, I believe this is about, uh, I think 19 ounces is what it said. It doesn't have a marking on there. 
But anyway, it's the little Kool-Aid containers, and this is the real deal Kool-Aid, not the great value. I found the great value after you cut them, off, cut them down, the lid doesn't want to screw on real well. Um, but after cutting this one down, the lid screws on really well. I don't have any problem matching the lid up. Um, when I take it off, um, well, I say that and now look at me. Anyway, it does. It works a lot better than the other one, let me just say that. But this one works fairly well. Uh, as far as weights on this, the lid weighs 0.6 ounces or 18 grams, and the actual container weighs 1.1 ounces or 31 grams. This is easily the heaviest part of my cook set here, but um, it's also the protection and it's also what I'm going to use to rehydrate my food in. So it's got its purposes. And last but not least is the actual Foster's can. And this one I just marked with a marker and then I cut it with a pair of scissors, just a regular pair of scissors, and you can see how much I've actually cut down. So um, the way that the ring and the lid works you cut your can down to whatever size you want and then you put this in there it has a little uh, lip that's kind of slightly uh, in all around the edges put that little lip in uh, get it in there really good make sure it's seated all the way around and then I'm just going to use this little tack hammer to just kind of go around and hammer it down so what I want to do is just kind of move the camera just a little bit closer maybe I get a little bit better shot and uh, get this done uh, and then once I get that done, of course the lid fits right on top of there and then everything should fit inside of this. Um, also, one reason I cut it to that level there is because it seems like with some other ones that I've messed with, if I cut it much higher than that uh, and use this container, the lid won't fully go down all the way. So I'm going to have to see how it works with this lid on there because of this knob. What I'm thinking I'm going to have to do is after I get done and put everything in there is I'll have to turn it upside down. Um, one other thing I want to mention, I don't have any wicking on this pot. Um, some of the pots have wicking on them. Um, I'll use, especially during the winter time, if it's cold, I'll have gloves on anyway so I won't need to worry about it. Uh, or I like the idea that Smoke Eater 908 did also with cutting just a little piece of Reflectix um, and using it to grab the pot with. You can see that in some of Water Monkey's videos. So anyway, uh, let me reposition that camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so like I say, here's the ring. I don't know how well this is focused in, but as you can see, the top of it's got a flat surface there. And then looking on this side, it's got a little bit of a lip so that when the can comes up over the side, the can will actually be underneath this lip and there won't be any sharp points on the can that will actually cut you once this thing is installed properly. And then also, like I said, I don't know how well you can see that, but there is a little bit of a lip that dips inward all around this thing and that lip makes it easier to get the uh, lid seated inside the can before you go to hammering on it. So I'm going to play with this thing and get it seated and see how well it goes. Um, I was play I've already been playing with it once before and there is a little bit of fiddle factor to make sure you get it right and look at there. Already I've got it seated all the way around. It's seated in the can. See there? Seated all the way. So there you go for fiddle factor or luck. So now I'm just going to take my little mallet and just kind of and there you have it. I did it too hard. So you see it takes little light taps obviously. Now watch. This will be where I can't get it seated again. Okay I think I actually no. Nope. Okay, I believe that's that's in. So and there I come out again. It's definitely a close fit. 
And what's happening is when I heat it on one side, it's kind of wanting to uh, pop up on the other side. Take your time, I think, and instead of uh, get excited like I do and just go to town knocking it in, it'll probably be okay. There you have it. There it is. I was worried a little bit about the uh, metal on this damaging the lid, but it looks like the lid, I don't really see anything. Uh, it looks like it's been damaged in any way or anything. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little bit. You can see where the can has actually rolled out just a little bit to accommodate the uh, ring so it's good and tight it's not going to come out of there real easy and one of the best things one of the biggest reasons that I wanted to uh, one of the biggest reasons that I wanted to get this ring is because now that I have this ring I can have as many cans as I want because just get another Foster's can cut it off if anything happens to this one pull it out there may be a little work involved pulling out, obviously I don't know yet. But pull it out and put it in another one. The ring is a pretty uh, pretty durable material, obviously. It's aluminum, I imagine, some sort of aluminum. But it seems quite durable, so it shouldn't... Uh, it should really take a lot of force to actually damage this ring. So I can use this ring as many times as I want. So there you have it. And, uh... Whoops. Let's see. This will fit like that. I bet it won't. Well, look at there. That will. Uh, I probably won't store it like that. I'll probably store it with the uh, thing upside down. That way I don't uh, break the handle. So that shouldn't be much of a problem. Yep, there we go. And that's it. Uh, that's my ring from Smoke Eater 908. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, comments, post them down below. And if you think that you might be interested in getting one of these rings for yourself, check out Smoke Eater 908's website. Um, and again, I'll post a link down at the bottom. Appreciate you for watching. Next time.